Hey guys, welcome to another video. And in, to stay in the alien versus predator kind of atmosphere, I felt it was a good time to uh, review and showcase my scar. And then in the next video, I'll do Celtic. And, and then uh, after that, I'll do Chopper as well. And I intend to start painting uh, all three of them this week. And I'll be doing that on Twitch uh, during a live stream. Uh, of course, the people on YouTube will get the uh, opportunity to, uh, to watch me paint them as well uh, as I'll do uh, uh, upload the, uh, the replays of the, the live stream uh, to YouTube as well. But um, for this video, I wanted to, to do a uh, scar um, and I am going to do a, you know, a little bit of a review or a showcase, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, back in 2007, uh, Naren gave life to uh, Scar, Celtic and Chopper um, and all three of them are supposed to be uh, companion pieces. Uh, they are supposed to be displayed uh, with the three of them together. That was kind of like the, the concept uh, of these three pieces. Um, not a lot is known about the original seller uh, because as, as far as I understand it, uh, Naren just did the sculpt just like the previous video and, uh, and, and with the previous piece that I reviewed for you guys. Uh, Naren did the sculpt. Uh, he was commissioned by uh, a company or a studio um, and it was up to them to kind of decide how to distribute and produce the piece. So not a lot is known about the origins, uh, just just that Naren sculpted this piece. Um, and you don't see them very often on eBay. Uh, you don't see them, see them being offered by other collectors. Uh, so they are a little bit rare. Uh, I think Chopper is the most uh, common, if you can call it common. Uh, I've seen Chopper the most. And I have seen a bunch of paint-ups uh, from other artists. Uh, but I rarely ever have seen uh, Scar. Uh, I think Joe Dunaway might have done one or two. Um, and and Celtic is even more rare, I believe. Um, so yeah, uh, the origins are a little bit fuzzy. Um, but uh, as you can see from the sculpt, Naren again did an amazing job. Uh, recreating uh, Scar. Um, I'm, you know, I, I, I've i had him for a while. Uh, the, the reason why I pursued getting uh, Scar and Celtic is because I, I got a hold of, of Chopper and I kind of wanted the three of them together. You know, the three brothers, the three iconic uh predators from the avp movie uh where they go to antarctica and and hunt some xenomorphs and really the um the best way to display them is with the three of them together um to kind of go into the overall concept of the piece, uh, Scar as well as the other two uh, all came without a base, um, which is a real shame um, because I feel a lot could have been done by adding a base and maybe kind of recreating uh, a scene from the movie, uh, something that resembles the movie. Um, Maybe some kind of temple display or uh, something snowy because they were in Antarctica. But uh, sadly, they came without a base. So for now, uh, I have him displayed on um, on a temporary base. This is also from another Naren sculpt. Um, so I have him 
standing on this base for now but i do think um that i am going to uh create a custom base for them uh just to add a little bit more to the scene um all three of them um are have been sculpted in a somewhat uneventful kind of pose some kind of uneventful kind of situation basically and they they are basically a museum pose and if you look at uh, the individual piece um, they are a little bit boring by themselves um, but um, they are supposed to be displayed uh, with the three of them together and that kind of creates a uh, somewhat of a scene it, it completes the the overall picture basically so uh, as for a concept uh, for just a, a single piece it is kind of boring it is kind of you know um, a little bit plain and and simple uh, the museum pose uh, I, 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 I do honestly believe that a lot of a lot could have been done uh, by adding a base or you know have him do something right now he's just standing um, so I, I, I do think that um, if you if you want to go for a piece like this you should uh, look into the uh, the other two uh, pieces as well uh, originally scar came with a different uh, different hand uh, which was holding the predator throwing star uh, but in my personal opinion it, it looked a little bit goofy uh, so I swapped out his hand uh, for something that I had laying around uh, in my spare parts um, so I swapped it out I gave him a hand with uh, where he's holding a skull it, it kind of added a little bit more of that predator kind of feel uh, even though the, uh, the predator throwing star is uh, used in the movie uh, to great effect even um, but uh, the pose didn't really kind of accomplish that that menacing feel or that predator feel so I really felt it necessary to kind of customize him and uh, so I, I gave him another hand um, the other hand the left hand uh, I, I also customized the left hand and gave him a skull and um, a skull and a uh, spine and it, I just felt it it made him look a little bit more menacing um, there we go. Uh, I just felt it, it made him a little bit more menacing and uh, I do intend to kind of paint it like it, it, it is a fresh kill so I do intend to give it like a bloody uh, bloody paint effect uh, it just added a little bit more uh, you know menace to to the whole thing um, originally it was just the um, the, the closed fist and uh, it was almost like Naren did intend to, to do something with the fist where he is holding something, uh, maybe a knife or something, uh, a different kind of weapon maybe. Um, but ultimately, um, he kept it like a closed fist. And um, like you, you can see here, uh, it really, uh, really works well together. Uh, so... Um, I felt that the customization uh, gave him a little bit of, of a predator kind of feel uh, at, at, by adding that, that menacing kind of thing. Uh, so I, I do intend to, to paint it bloody and then I paint this one as like an old trophy, uh, very much like, like this skull right here. Uh, some of the other features are his shoulder weapon uh, and obviously the, the 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 massive backpack that he's kind of rocking um, his all his features that he has are movie accurate uh, he comes with a uh, closed unused 
uh, throwing star, which I have attached with a wire to the um, to the pouch right here. Let me turn on the light. Uh, and all of these pouches uh, are removable, but uh, you know, for now, I'm gonna leave them um, temporary. But after the painting process is complete, I'm gonna glue them in place because I don't want them to fall out. Uh, he's rocking the traditional armor, the movie accurate armor. And um, he, he is basically uh, sculpted like the, uh, the, the, the movie suits, basically. Uh, his mask comes with the scar, the traditional kind of scar that he puts onto himself when he kills the alien. And uh, he comes with the very iconic, I guess every predator needs one, the, uh, the trophy kind of, the, the trophy belt around his chest. So overall, a lot of features. He does have a lot of things going on onto, onto his body, which would make it a very interesting piece to paint. Uh, it does give him some variety. Uh, he has a lot of things going on. So paint, painting wise, you could do a lot with it. Um, and, you know, Scar, obviously the hero of the movie, uh, the only surviving. Uh, well, technically he didn't survive, but um, the, the only predator who got to fight the queen. Uh, and he does have the, the, uh, the face mask that the biomask that resembles the uh, the original jungle hunter predator. Um, one other feature that I customized were the wrist blades. Uh, originally, they came as as extended, uh, but it kind of didn't didn't complement the, the the scene basically. So I wanted to shorten them. Uh, but still make them visible enough. So I, I got them uh, retracted basically, but I left them a little bit longer than uh, some of the other pieces basically. But I felt that retracted would complement the piece a little bit better. Um, it kind of looks goofy uh, extended, uh, especially because uh, it, his original hand as well as this hand has been sculpted in such a way that... Um, it didn't really make sense for him to have the blades extended. So um, that's the reason why I do intend to glue the pouches because they tend to fall out after you move them. Overall, I think um, a lot could have been done uh, uh, by adding a base. Uh, I do think he's, uh, it, it is, it, it would add to the whole display, the overall kind of, um, uh, kind of concept. I do think that in a lot of cases, especially with Naren Predators, uh, he does so well with, with adding something to the base that tells a story or it adds to the, the overall uh, concept. Um, that I, I do feel that uh, he needs uh, needs a base, and I do intend uh, to kind of make a customized base uh, where he's standing in the snow. Um, I can show you guys an example. Uh, here I made a base for an, another piece where uh, I basically uh, used rocks and then um, basically sculpted snow, uh, put, put down some clay uh, and give it the snow effect basically so that when the predator is standing, you can see the, the, foot, the footprints right here. Uh, when he's standing there, it, it, uh, it's almost like he's standing in the snow. Um, he's, you know, uh, Antarctica had a lot of rocks. Definitely you could see the rock, the rocky kind of... Uh, surface uh, at the end of the movie where they were fighting the alien uh, they were 
uh, in a rocky area covered with snow and I felt that that would kind of add to the um, uh, to the scene so uh, this is basically what I'm I'm kind of going for I think uh, I have to kind of play around with some ideas to have uh, but this would would definitely kind of add to the whole scene uh, putting them in the snow just like in the movie but um, uh, that is for the last kind of stage after he's all painted up um, I'll, I'll try and find a good way to to work out a base for him uh, because if I make a customized base for Scar I'll also have to make a customized base for the other two, the other two as well uh, what I could also do um, is uh, make one big base and put all three of them on there. But uh, I'll have to see what I can com come up with. So um, my overall thoughts on this piece. Um, as a single piece, uh, he is not particularly interesting. Um, he's, it's a, a very, you know, a very common, uh, kind of piece. Uh, not a lot is going on. There's not a whole scene that it, uh, or a story that's being told. So the museum pose is a little bit boring. Um, and I, I do really feel that he needs his two brothers next to him to kind of do it, ju do justice to the piece. Uh, definitely having them displayed next to each other uh, kind of completes the whole scene basically uh, so i do feel that if you're going for a piece like this uh, for this particular piece uh, you kind of need the other two as well um, overall he's a cool character uh, displayed a lot of skill uh, in the movie uh, he ended up, uh, you know, fighting the alien queen. So, um, cool character, uh, cool concept. Uh, I really felt that the AVP movie uh, did something unique with the predators by putting them um, in a cold environment instead of a, the jungle. Uh, putting them up against the aliens, which we've been kind of dying for to see. Um, and I, I did feel that they did a great job with the armor and the whole character design as a whole i i did feel that uh the three of them were really cool characters i also believe that uh celtic uh and chopper also had very unique designs so bring something new to the alien uh and predator uh, kind of universe um so i do feel that he's a very cool character to have in your collection but for this particular piece, I do feel that he needs his two brothers uh, to complete the package, basically. Um, to kind of wrap it up for you guys, um, the next video, I'll do Celtic. Um, and after Celtic, I will do a video on Chopper as well. Um, so stay tuned for more AVP Naren pieces. Um, after I finished the, these three videos, uh, I will be live streaming my painting process of all three of them. So if you wanna catch me live painting on, on stream, go to my Twitch channel. Uh, the link is in the description down below. Uh, if you've not already signed up for Twitch, uh, sign up for Twitch and uh, subscribe to my account or follow my account and uh, catch me live uh, painting uh, Scar, Celtic and Chopper. Uh, of course, I will upload the replays um, to YouTube as well. So for the guys on YouTube, I, you'll, you'll have a chance to see me paint. I um, want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next video.